How's it going, everyone? Maryland here! Whoa! Alright, yeah, so let's see. What are we going to do today? We're going to go on a little safari. That's right. We are going to check out the Friends Safari, which is one of the most fun things to do in Pokemon X and Y. So, let's just go over some stuff first. In order to go to the Friends Safari, you need to be in Killode City. That's where I am right now. You get here after you've beaten the game. And, yeah, that's pretty great. Um, you know what? While this certainly looks like a pretty nice outfit, I feel like a change of clothes are in order. So, I'm gonna go into the fitting room, and there's one really cool thing. You know, if you do a lot of style changes all the time, you might want a quick way to switch between your different styles. Well, there's this little X button that says open the menu, and if you're anything like me, you probably just ignored that and thought, oh yeah, well, menu, okay, fine. But it's actually really cool. You can select your favorite, you can register a favorite, and you can even sort things by the alphabet. So what I did is I registered two of my favorite looks. I have this one with the <laughs> Pangoro hat and everything, and then I also have my cool red one with the fedora and everything. And it makes it super easy to switch between like six different styles, which is just fantastic. I mean, there's so many different clothes that sometimes trying to recreate your favorite look can be kind of a hassle, so I'm going with this for now. I'm not sure if I'm digging that hair too, but oh well, that's fine. Anyway, so let's just go check out the Friend Safari and then I'll kind of tell you some stuff about it. So you're gonna go over here and it is in the northeast um, corner of Killood City here. This is the Friend Safari and it's so much fun. Okay, first of all, that music. Yeah! <laughs> um, and then really, it's just kind of nice in here. Kind of cozy. There's a little PC that you can you know, use, which is actually surprisingly handy. And then, to get started, all you need to do is just talk to this lady here. You could hear an explanation, but you are watching my video, right? So you're going to get one. Um, so you just go on a safari, and then on the bottom screen here, you will have all sorts of people. Okay, let me rephrase this. You may not have all sorts of people down here because this is based off of how many people are on your Nintendo 3DS friend list. That's how you trade and battle with people online, unless you're using like Wonder Trade or the Battle Spot. You add people and they show up on that PSS on the bottom screen there. Now, this is definitely a change from say Black and White and actually all the earlier games use Wi-Fi where you had a pal pad item that you had to register them in. It works similarly though, but it's a little different. In fact, let's see if I can show you really quick here. So let's say you want to add a friend. You'd have to press home, and then there's a little icon here, this smiley face icon on the bottom screen, and that's your friend list. And let's say you wanted to add someone as a friend. Oh my goodness, here's my friend code. <laughs> as you may or may not be able to see, I have so many friends. I have like 78 friends. So <laughs> you can only hold up to 100. So yeah, you get to see this, but please don't take offense. I can't add anyone else because I have to do so much stuff for... Uh, actually, I do Wonder Trade Wednesday streams. They're a lot of fun. Um, you can find that over at my Twitch TV channel stream thing which is just twitch tv or twitch.tv slash maryland tv and yeah i stream every wednesday although I, I don't think i'll do it for christmas i don't know i might do a friday special for that but anyway um you will have your listing right here um for your 3ds so whatever your friend code is this up on top that's what you want to give to someone else okay and let's say you want to add someone else you just tap that little plus thing and then well if you're in close proximity to the person you can just choose local if both people do that you'll you don't even need the friend code it'll add them automatically but if you need to add someone from the internet you just do internet and you type in their 12 digit friend code and then assuming you've done that and they've done that you'll both be friends which is great and once you're registered um yeah you're friends on each other's list so everyone in here is a friend on my 3DS here. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, you can only store 100, but it's so much better than in the old days of only storing 32. Now, one unfortunate thing, let's say you want to go into that menu, it does kick you off of Wi-Fi, which I find kind of stinks, so you'd have to reconnect by going on here. I'm not going to do that right now. 
Um, but I just wanted to let you know, don't freak out if that happens. Okay, so hopefully that adds a little bit of extra context to who those people are in here and on the bottom screen of that PSS. So, um, let's see. <laughs> I know, test lady. I had like a 3DS I was just testing with. Um, so you'll see all these names and all of these different trainers and stuff, and that's pretty cool. You may see some that have sort of like a question mark by them, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but basically, each of these trainers, this is their friend safari. So their 3DS will always have this type. And let's just see here. You know what? We're going to go to... Let's check Kevin's out. He's got fire here. So when you, when you select this, it shows Pokemon that appear. Now you'll see either two or three of these little Pokeball things, assuming you've never been in that safari before. If you've seen, if, uh, I'm sorry, if you see two of those, then it means that that person has yet to actually beat the game. They unlock their third one after they've beaten the game. And let's see, I think I have an example here. Now, so you know, I, uh, I have all these people on my friends list because of these kind of, oh, here we go. Here's my brother. <laughs> Yeah, so I can only find two of his Pokemon in there. The third will be unlocked after he's beaten the game. And after we're online at the same time. Uh, which I'll go over in a moment. But when you just choose one, you get to go in. And you get to uh, find some Pokemon. Just this little patch of grass here. You can't use the Poke Radar or anything like that. But, you know, it's, it's still pretty cool. Now, there's a Fletchinder there. You can't usually find Fletchinder in the wild. Everything here is at level 30, um, which is rather convenient. Sometimes you'll find things that can't normally evolve by level 30, so that's kind of cool. But more importantly, everything in here has a chance of having its hidden ability, assuming that the person uh, whose friends fire you're visiting, assuming they have beaten the game and you have that unlocked. Now, one thing that a lot of people kind of... It's like a myth, a, a misconception rather, there is a myth that you need to be online at the same time, all the time. Oh, see? Like, for instance, this Fletchinder here has its hidden ability, Gale Wings. Which is very good. Definitely a good thing to get. I already have one with that. Um, I'll tell you why I'm using a Ralts in a moment here. But basically, that myth, it's just a myth. What happens is, you have to have been online at the same time at least once in-game in order for it to register, oh yeah, they've beaten the game or whatever. So if you just add someone, they will still show up in your friend safari, even if you um, even if you don't see them online at the same time, but you'll only see like two of their things until it's seen, oh, well, you're online at the same time, you've beaten the game, and all right, that's cool. You don't have to be online at the same time after that. It's just you kind of have to catch them at that moment and then it kind of unlocks their third Pokemon. Now, if you only see two of their Pokemon there, you will not find any Pokemon with the hidden abilities. This is really important. So, let's say you visit someone's friend safari, and let's say they have Flechinder and Magmar, for instance. You don't know what their third Pokemon is because they haven't beaten the game yet. After they've beaten the game, though, then you'll be able to find out what their third Pokemon is. But until then, even the Pokemon that are in there will never have their hidden ability. The hidden ability and the third um, the third Pokemon in the Safari are unlocked as long as you're both online at the same time. Or it doesn't technically have to be online. Let's say you're trading in person. Let's say you go to a local Pokemon League or something and you use that local thing that's fine. Or even if you're nearby, you just register each other as friends. Basically, as long as you can verify with your friend and vice versa that, oh yeah, we're online at some point in time, uh, then it'll work. Okay, so why am I using this Ralts? You've probably kind of figured it out by now. Hopefully you have. Otherwise, I'll tell you. So Ralts is one of the few Pokemon with the ability Trace. At least some of the Ralts out there have Trace. Its other ability, at least standard ability, is Synchronize which is also very helpful. Um, I know that Abra can also get synchronized, which is pretty cool. But I'm using Ralts and I'm using Trace right now. Synchronize has a different role. Trace's role is to basically 
see what ability the Pokemon has. So it saves you a whole lot of different Pokeballs if you're trying to get something with its hidden ability. In this case, I know this Flitchinder has its hidden ability, Gale Wings. So if I wanted one with Gale Wings, I could just kind of catch it. But it saves me the, the hassle of catching something and it has, say, Flame Body instead. Well, that doesn't do me as much good. Okay, so there's the third Pokemon, a Slugma. Now, I'll only run into these three Pokemon in here. That's it. And for better or for worse, that that's just kind of how it goes. But that's why you want to add a whole ton of different friends. It's kind of nice if you're looking for a certain Pokemon, too. All right, let's see. Let's check out another one. What do you say? Um, Blink. All right, well, normal type safaris are pretty good. Um, oftentimes, one thing that people really look for are ditto friend safaris. You can find dittos in friend safaris, and that's pretty amazing. Actually, Eevee's pretty good in friend safaris, too. Um, let's see. So this Ralts, you may have also noticed it has um, a smoke ball. That just allows it to run from anything. Since I'm just kind of using it to scout, just to see if there's something I want, and just to see what its ability is. That's really handy. You could also use Synchronize, like I was telling you earlier. What Synchronize does is, it basically makes it so there's a 50% chance of the Pokemon you're running into having the same nature as the Pokemon with Synchronize. So let's say I had a timid Ralts with Synchronize, or a timid Abra, or whatever, really. Um, I could actually just run into a whole ton of different things that would be adamant nature. Or timid nature, actually. What am I talking about, adamant? I don't know. Um, but basically, I run into Pokemon of that nature. So that's really convenient if you're trying to find something of a certain nature. Just run in with something with Synchronize, and you're good to go. Another really handy thing about the Friend Safari is each and every one of the Pokemon you run into here will have at... <laughs> I used run away. Will have at least, at least two perfect IVs or individual values. If you're not familiar with individual values, that's what the judge in Killud City, that's what he can tell you. Um... Like, I could totally just catch one of these Pokemon. In fact, I'll do that. I've already seen everything in here. So I'm going to move on to another Safari. But everything in here will have at least two perfect stats. These IVs, they range from 0 to 31, with 31 being perfect. If you talk to the judge in Killud City, he will tell you, Oh, that stat can't be beat if it indeed couldn't be beat. Now, what am I doing here? I don't need to be in here. Okay, um... Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. What else do I want to do? Um, and there's so many options here. <laughs> oh, let's just scroll down to the bottom. We'll go with. I, I want to see what's in this ice one. Let's just see. What do you say? What do you say? Okay. So, um, also riding the bike's really handy in here. You just kind of ride around in circles and you run into stuff like crazy. Deli bird! Deli bird! I don't really want to catch a deli bird, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's nice that everything in here has two perfect IVs. And that's regardless of if they've beaten the game or not. Um, you know, that's just, it's great. In fact, that's actually an awesome way to kind of get started with breeding, too. If you're interested in, you know, breeding to get some good IVs and stuff, well, that is definitely the way to do it. Or at least if you, you don't have a good collection of stuff with good IVs already. One of the best ways to get things with good IVs, though, is actually just use Wonder Trade. Do some breeding for, you know, something that's kind of nice. Doesn't have to be perfect, but something that's kind of nice. And then you'll, um, you'll just get a whole ton of stuff off of Wonder Trade. And so often you get people like me who, you know, they just breed a whole ton of different things. And... The things that aren't, like, quite perfect, but are still pretty good. Wow, there's a lot of Deli Bird here. Um, you know, they put them on Wonder Trade, so it's a great way to get started. But if you don't want to do that, the Friend Safaris are another very good way. And it's also where you get Pokemon with their hidden abilities. You can, of course, get Pokemon with their hidden abilities in Horde Battles, 
but that can be a little trickier to uh, track down. Aw, oh, Dugong. Cauliflower. <laughs> uh, I had a Dugong named Cauliflower. Let's try to catch this thing. Um, okay, so for catching stuff in here, having something with false swipe is probably a good idea. Yeah, definitely. Um, just makes it a lot easier. Ooh, rest. That is not going to be fun. Not going to be fun at all. Having things like quick balls, those are really good to have, simply because you can toss those, and quite often they'll catch things. But also, if you like any sort of decorative sort of Pokeballs, like Premier Balls, or Heal Balls, or Luxury Balls, this is another great place to just kind of find stuff. So, I'm trying to think. Live underwater. I don't know if that technically lives underwater or not. Um, let's just use this net ball and see what happens. <laughs> I don't really care, but, you know, well, let's give it a whirl. Alright, fantastic. We got a Dugong. Cool. And I don't remember if Hydration is its hidden ability or not, but essentially, you, um, you do get a chance of getting that hidden ability, which is really cool. With hidden abilities, also, that's another thing I guess I'll talk about. Um, hidden abilities can be bred. So, let's say that female dugong. Um, let's say, you know, that's its hidden ability. In fact, I don't even know. Let me just double check really quick here. Hydration. I'm trying to think. I don't remember everything's hidden ability. I'm sorry, guys. I think that might be it, though. Oh, no, actually, it's ice body. That's its hidden ability. But, okay, so let's say I find one with ice body. Um, if it's a female one, well, perfect. I can breed that with any compatible male, and there will be an increased chance of passing down that ability. But if I find a male one in here, you're not totally out of luck. You can actually breed it with a ditto, and there will be a chance to pass it down. You can't breed it with, um, oh, what is it? Like, say, a female of that species without the hidden ability? But that's okay. That's fine. At least there's a way to do that. So you just keep breeding until you get one with, um... Oh, until you get one with the hit a female with the hidden ability. And then just breed that and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so hopefully I didn't totally lose you there. I'm trying to cover every kind of cool thing in here. Um, there is one other thing that's really nice about these friend safaris. And that, quite simply, is... Oh, see, there's that hidden ability. Um, the increased rate of finding shiny Pokemon. You can find shiny Pokemon right, uh, let's see how to put it, rather easy, I guess. Um, I mean, it still takes a bit of time, but the rate is most certainly higher in here. I don't know exactly how much higher, but quite, quite a bit higher. So you spend a couple of hours just kind of riding around in here, you're only going to find two or three Pokemon. So you're pretty much guaranteed it'll be one of those. And then you're pretty much good. Now, okay, this is where people kind of get, you know, oh, does it work, does it not? The whole tipping 10,000 at the Cafe Lenaw. That's what I do if I want to get a shiny. The first time I tried this, it worked, and I got a shiny Breloom for my friends. So it's like, hmm. Well, I guess I believe that. I'm trying to figure out what the third Pokemon is here. I'm sorry about that. I just kind of want to know. <laughs> well, maybe it'll be shiny. Who knows? Um, but anyway, I find that tipping does work, so I recommend it. It doesn't hurt to try, at least. I may be just a little superstitious about it. I know I tipped actually several times before coming in here. And if you can only tip 1,000... That's just because you have not gotten a star at every single course that that restaurant offers. That's why I recommend Cafe Lin Na, because um, you only have to clear the double battle course there in just the right amount of time. Do that once, then go back, and then you can leave a tip of 10,000. So that's pretty cool. I did. I think I kind of showed something along those lines in um, my last video, which is like the Lumio City Style Guide. I know I elaborated on that more, but this is a great place to go uh, just kind of hunting for shinies, which is fun, let's face it. you know, It's a great incentive to add more friends. I'm sure that there will be plenty of people in the comments, um, you know, kind of wanting to share friend codes. Hey, that's fine. 
totally fine. Um, you know, I encourage that. Go for it. Please just understand, you know, unfortunately, as you saw, I had, like, so much room filled. So, oh, Azumarill! Um, so really, <laughs> really, I just, I can't add anyone else. I'm sorry. But that's fine. That's fine. If you do want a chance to trade with me, I do have, um, typically weekly Wonder Trade Wednesday posts where, um, over on my website, Maryland.com, I kind of have a little... Like a giveaway thing, you just have to comment there on uh, the post each Wednesday. Oh, there's its hidden ability. Well, huge power is better anyway. Um, yeah, so that's a great way to get a chance to trade with me, because I do a lot of like breeding and stuff. But if you're just asking for my friend code, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it just it kind of shows, oh, I didn't really listen to anything that Marilyn was saying. And, you know, it's like, I wish I just had thousands and thousands of empty spots in here but once you get close to that limit you really got to be careful and i have to add like more people for last week's giveaway <laughs> uh, i know never a dull moment okay let's see what else am i missing about the friend safaris here well you can find just a variety of pokemon like a huge variety um even a lot that just can't even be found normally in the kalos region so that is pretty handy and even things that can be found in the Kalos region, you can find things in here with their hidden abilities, which is really nice. And of course, you know, two IVs that are perfect. At least two. At least two. So that's good. And there's obviously that higher rate of running into a shiny. Certainly appreciated. You can find starters in here, which is great. I'm trying to see if I can find one here. Um, you may or may not have heard of the infamous Protean Frokies. Well, they kind of come from the Friend Safari. You can find Greninja, or not Greninja, uh, Frogadier in here. As well as, like, uh, Brakeson, and what's the other thing? Quilladin. You can even find, like, Charm no, Charmeleon, Ivysaur, Wartortle, all with their hidden abilities. So that's pretty cool, actually. It's just neat to run into starters in the wild, you know? It's like, whoa! What? What? Are you serious? Oh my goodness, that just, like, never happens. I mean, I think all of us as a kid kind of dreamed way, way back when we were on, like, Route 1 in Red and Blue that there were these starters across that fence and that grass, you know? You know how you were walking on Route 1 and there's, like, those, that, that wall or fence or whatever it was? And there's this grass on the other side that you can't get to. Well... Obviously, there were starters in there. I mean, that's clearly where Oak got them, right? <laughs> right? Oh, uh, I know. Well, now we can finally get to them, huh? Oh, uh, I know. I know. Well, they weren't really back there, but... I always thought that when I was a kid. I did. Hmm, let's see. What other kind of tips to talk about inside of the Friend Safari here? I recommend play music. <laughs> that's good. Um, if, let's say, I want to share for us, huh? Let's say you need to do some homework or something, or, you know, maybe something else. No, I don't even know, but one thing that can be rather helpful, since this doesn't really take, like, a lot of concentration. Oh, a Gyarados! Oh, my. Intimidate, nah. <laughs> right back at you, buddy. Oh my goodness. Um, let me just show you really quick one of these settings. Um, in the options down here, I recommend change button mode to L equals A. By default, it's just default. But if you switch it to this, that means anytime you press the L button, it's counted as the A button, which is really handy. Um, it, it basically lets you just move around with the control stick and then just press L to navigate and stuff. So, you know, you can do all sorts of other things with this. Also, this Battle BG here, this is actually pretty neat. Um, here, let me even just show you. There's one that's really fun. It's the... There's an EV. You can change it, and on the bottom screen, during battles, you will actually find that... Actually, I don't even know why I'm still in this friend safari. Oh, well. On the bottom screen, you'll now see that there's 
this really nice little Eevee pattern there. Look, there's an Eevee! And all the different evolutions. So it's so much more stylish than just your standard battle background. I should have done this a long time ago when I was doing this series, because it just it's a nice little touch. It helps customize, and there's actually quite a few different options there. So that's really awesome. Alright, let's see. Oh, this intimidate just takes forever. Oh man. Um, other tips. So, if you have a Pokemon with cute charm, that can be a good way to get Pokemon of a certain gender. Um, anything leading with cute charm will have... Uh, I think it increases the chance of running into Pokemon of the opposite gender. So that's kind of handy. If you need, like, um, female starters or something with their hidden ability. The downside is you wouldn't necessarily be able to see their... Um, what do we have here? i got so many... So many people. Ooh, fairy. Hmm. So many. Let's check this. Oh, I really want to find a starter, though. That's that's what I want to do. Let's find someone with water. Here we go. There we go. Um. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So cute charms handy with that. You could also bring something with... Um, I guess, like, Illuminate, I think that makes it so Pokemon are more likely to run into you in the wild, so it can kind of save a little bit of time. Um... Hmm... Oh, that was not just a Quagsire joke, by the way. <laughs> I was actually legitimately hmming. Um... But yeah, that that's helpful. You can bring things with, like, Static or Magnet Pull if you're looking for Electric types, or... Um... Steel types, respectively. Let's see. False Swipe's obviously really good. Trace is obviously really good. Synchronize is good. Synchronize is really good. Like, once you start getting natures of stuff, like, Synchronize can be very... Oh, see, there's a Wild Frogadier. How cool is that? Oh, but this one only has Torrent. That's a shame. Yeah, once you have, like, a little army of Synchronizers, you can get whatever nature you need in here. Um, so just breed Abra or something for a bit. Do it without the Everstone so you don't pass down natures. And then just keep kind of running into them. That's a fairly effective way to, to do that. Um, what other kind of generic tips? I mean, really, maybe have like a movie on in the background or something. But also be very mindful of shinies. You know, if you are looking for shinies, let's say... Um, the worst thing in the world would be to, like, accidentally run from them or not notice that they're shiny. So, try to at least pay some attention whenever you enter the fight. Because after that point, you know, it's it takes a bit of time to hit run and all that. But, you know, at least keep your eye on that moment there. Like, when they're first appearing, that's when it would show up as a shiny. Um, hmm, what else? Well, I mean, I guess that's really it. Adding people's friend codes and having them add you back is really good. You need to do that, though. That's really important. You need to have it so it's reciprocated. You can't just add someone and not have them add you back. Oh, that's, an, that's a moody artillery. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so... I think I've pretty much showed you everything I would need to in the friend safari. I mean, obviously, there are a lot of safaris I could visit right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to visit them all, though, at least during this video. But I'll tell you what, I certainly will. Um, I'll do some riding around and stuff. Maybe we can find something cool. Let's see, though. I'm going to go check out another safari. Maybe like a fire one. Matt. Did I go to Matt's? No, I did not. Alright, let's go there. Yeah, so, how cool is that? I mean, I really like the Friends Safaris. I think they're fun. I think they're great. Nice addition. Very cool. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Much Growlithe, huh? Um, yeah, so... And you can find some really neat Pokemon in here. Oh, one thing that you should probably keep in mind, if you're interested in participating in the VGC at all, the Video Game Championships, although these Pokemon can indeed be captured in the game, you cannot use anything outside of the, um, 
the Kalos decks. So, for instance, Growlithe here, it's a National Dex Pokemon, but it is not in the Kalos decks, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure you can only find it in here. So even though you can catch it in Pokemon X and Y, you won't be able to use it for those official tournaments, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess it's all right. Um, you can, however, use any of like the the Kalos native Pokemon, such as Frogadier. You could get that with Protean, and you could use that no problem. It doesn't matter if it was caught in the Friend Sapphire or not. You just have to <laughs> Pyroar. That's pretty cool. Wild Pyroar. Whoa. Um, yeah, so just kind of keep that in mind. But anything in the Friend Safari is just fine. As long as it's in the Kalos decks. Anything that's not, like, my poor beloved Togepi. I can't use Togekiss. Oh, so sad. Um, you know, can't. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, doo -doo -doo. so many people, huh? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, there are a lot, but that's fine. Um, all right, let's do one more. Hmm, what type? Do have any more like normal? Well, let's just stick to let's do fairy. Yep, but hopefully this covered probably more than you ever wanted to know about the friend safari. <laughs> Oh, uh, and... Oh, Togepi! <laughs> Wasn't I just talking about Togepi? Yeah, I can't use ya, you little rascal. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm just gonna run around and see what the remaining two Pokemon are in here. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was helpful to ya. Because, obviously, that'd be good. Oh, Clefairy! <laughs> Friend guard, huh? Huh, Clefairy just looks so much bigger than I thought, I guess. And another Clefairy. Alright, what else? What else? What other kind of fairy Pokemon are in here, huh? Huh? Must know! so addictive. It's like you get friends and then you just want to check their friend safaris out. It's so great. So great. Sheer force. I think that's its hidden ability, but it's not intimidate, so whatever. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Adventure! See you next time, friends!